Challenges of Pipeline Vandalism, Illegal Crude Oil Theft, Artisanal Refining, among others, are some of the constraints poising threat to the ongoing efforts of the federal government in the cleanup of the Ogoni land in the Niger Delta region. The federal government, however, says it has significantly utilized the over $1 billion contributed by international oil companies for the cleanup and restoration exercise. Speaking at a press conference in Abuja, the Minister of Environment, Dr. Mahmoud Abubakar, said the exercise, which is part of President Buhari's led administration mandate, will restore the livelihood of the Ogoni people. The project is not so much just cleaning up but also about restoring the livelihood of the people of that area that have been without good drinking water, without good soil for agriculture. But the high prep, after so many years of saying we will, we will, by previous administrations, today, the administration of President Muhammad Buhari made it a reality, also an actuality, because it's currently going on. He further highlighted the impact of the hydrocarbon pollution remediation project, HYPREP, initiated to remediate and restore hydrocarbon contaminated areas in the region. Remediation and restoration of the hydrocarbon rest, uh, contaminated areas also stop further pollution, provide portable water to impacted communities, provide sustainable alternative livelihood to the impacted communities, and that the health industry, uh, inventory of people living in that impacted areas. Dr. Abubakar also revealed that about 2,000 temporal jobs have been created in the cause of remediation across Ogoni land, among others. A total of 2,000 temporal jobs were created in the cause of remediation across the four local government areas of Ogoni land. The Ogoni land cleanup project was flagged off by the federal government at Bodo in Kogana local government area of River State on 2nd June 2016 after which the three governing structures of the project, namely the Governing Council, Board of Trustees, and the Project Coordination Office were inaugurated. Palang Booker, CNN News.